everybody. Happy Monday. Hope everybody uh, had a good weekend. Uh, I enjoyed watching football yesterday. I'm a football fan. Hey, Christy, what's up? Saw you and Dave checking in on Facebook this week. Looks like you guys were out having some fun. Um, good to see you this morning. There's Shauna. Shauna's probably on here just to harass me about the 49ers. She's a big 49ers fan. Every time she posts something, I like to give her a hard time. I actually like the 49ers. I just like giving Shauna a hard time. But uh, what's up, Christy? Um, I was thinking about this today. And um, I, I think sometimes as humans, we don't understand or appreciate the, the full value of an apology. And I wanted to dig a little bit into that this morning on my drive down to, I'm headed to Maryland to our Baltimore office. And um, today I got an apology from somebody and um, it was something that I, I had really got worked up about. It was something that I was very upset about. And um, the apology wasn't just a token apology to diffuse the situation. And it, and it kind of opened my eyes to making sure that I'm more aware of the value of an apology. And... Um, why it's so important. And from my own experience today, what it meant for me was the reason I was so upset is because I I felt like there was a gap in our beliefs. I felt that there was a gap between me and this particular person's beliefs, like our core values or our values. Um, And that's what had me so upset. And we, we sat down and we talked about it. And, um, you know, I was able to, to, to speak my mind and, and uh, explain why I was upset and what I had, you know, had expected and, um, you know, how what happened made me feel and why it had me so upset. And this person was very understanding. And um, along with the apology came um, a trust from me and I think a mutual trust that uh, both of us generally wanted the same thing and it all really just started with an apology it started with accountability and acceptance for what each of us did um, you know because whether you whether you believe it or not um, every time that you know something happens each person plays a role in it so even though I felt that I was do an apology, there was definitely things that I could have done with handling the situation that might have made it less severe. It it might have, um, you know, prevented uh, emotions from, from, um, you know, getting out of control and generally might have just got us to our desired outcome quicker. Um, But um, I would just encourage you to, and sometimes an apology is difficult. Like I feel like Even for myself, sometimes when I apologize for what happened, it feels like we're acknowledging that we intended to do something wrong, or when we apologize, we may we may feel like, you know, that we 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 did something wrong. An apology doesn't always mean that you did something wrong. An apology can can be just from a place that, you know, I'm sorry that what I did made you feel that way. And I would never want you to feel that way, so I apologize for what I did. And it doesn't mean, again, that you necessarily did something wrong. Um, But in some capacity, you you played a part in, um, you know, upsetting that person or hurting their feelings or um, disrespecting them or whatever the case might be. I mean, you know, you you can apply this to um, a thousand different scenarios, but for me, what it meant was not so much just the apology but it was acknowledgement that this particular person cared about me, they cared about the situation, and they cared about uh, our relationship. And that was the bigger picture for me. So just know 
when when you when you give an apology, um, you're not acknowledging that you did something wrong. Even if you did make an apology, you don't have to just genuinely say I'm sorry. If something that you did or said or typed or emailed or posted upsets somebody that you care about, just apologize. It's way deeper than just the face value of the apology. Um, and, and I was, you know, witness to that today. And um, in this particular case, I was on the receiving end. And, um, you know, I even apologized for the way that I responded and, 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 and you know, um, feel like I could have handled myself a little bit differently. And um, at the end, everybody was on the same page. And I think it actually improved the relationship prior to this incident um, because now there's there's just this um, opportunity that we had to vocalize um, how much we value each other, how much trust and respect we have for each other and it all started with an apology so um, get, just apologize like, I don't know how else to say it then um, even if you feel like you didn't do something wrong if, if it negatively impacted anybody, just apologize. It'll mean a lot. It's not that hard. It may feel like it's difficult sometimes, but it's only because we're putting our own personal feelings um, ahead of others. And um, there's nothing more humbling than apologizing for something, even if you believe that you didn't do anything wrong. It's okay to apologize for what you did, even if it's not wrong and you're doing it just because of how it affected that other person. So um, an apology goes a long way. Don't be too proud to, to, to give an apology. That's it. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care.